have been following my first and second episodes about the bulking journey, you might have noticed that this one is running a little late. And that's only because I actually was out of town last weekend and usually the day I intend to film I wasn't at home and you know, life happens. So here we are. Um, so what I want to do is do a quick recap of week three and what I think is the most important thing I've learned of week three which is the importance of meal planning. Like I said, I was out of town for most of the weekend and we didn't eat a single meal at home. We went out for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And so I actually feel like I did pretty good, but I also do know that I didn't do quite good enough in, in terms of what I need to be reaching those fitness goals that I want to reach, um, especially at this point in my program. So the best thing that you can do, I feel, when you go out to eat is to make your food as simple as possible. That way you actually know what you're eating. For me, I um, am lactose intolerant. I don't eat any dairy. I generally don't eat red meat, so it actually eliminates a lot of things off of a lot of menus pretty quickly. Um, what I tend to do for breakfast is I generally will order poached eggs because they're the safest in terms of preparation. There's not a lot of, there's no oils, um, there's no dairy snuck in there if they're scrambled or something like that. So I'll order poached eggs, toast, dry because I don't eat butter. Um, I'll have peanut butter on it. And then sometimes I'll have, like I did try some bacon one time, but did not impress me, not worth it. We'll not do that again. Um, often I'll just order sides for breakfast, side of toast, the eggs, maybe some potatoes, you know, that's a good way to go. And also fairly affordable. Also another tip I would do is generally focus your meals when you're eating out around the protein if you are trying to gain muscle like I am because protein is really important. So for me that means eggs, egg whites, um, fish I would also eat as well. Um, which is quite high in protein, especially salmon, white fish, um, tuna. Um, another thing that I did is I actually went to the store and just bought a couple protein bars, things like that, to try and also um, keep myself full. So I was snacking on those um, instead of, you know, maybe things that weren't as good for me. Another thing that I've been doing is not drinking alcohol, which has been, I feel, a huge benefit for this program so far. Um, I'm feeling the benefits of that in terms of, um, I... When I drink, I tend to make decisions I would normally make with my food choices because I'm, you know, just wanting to have whatever's greasy and pub food and things like that. Um, also, when I'm hungover, I tend to want to just like nurse myself back to health again with like greasy food, salty food. Who doesn't love that? So that's been kind of eliminated from my routine, which has been great. Um, also, just for my confidence, I actually went out to an event with a bunch of friends and where there was alcohol and everybody was drinking and I didn't drink and really enjoyed myself and had a good time. So that lets me know that I don't need to have a drink to have a good time and we'll see how long that this continues. So in terms of meal planning, I have kind of always done a bit of meal planning because I work in an office, but I'm realizing with my goals of gaining muscle and gaining muscle you know, at a quicker pace, I need to do a better job about meal planning. I need to eat better foods. I've been kind of relying on protein bars, protein powder, things like that, and those should be supplements. They're supplementing your diet, but you shouldn't be relying on them in terms of your meals um, in general. So I need to start bringing food to work for my lunch that um, is hitting all the, the nutrient goals that I have. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I do share a lot of vegan, vegetarian, as well as non-vegan, non-vegetarian recipes on there. Um, some of my favorites are protein pancakes, protein oatmeal. Um, I did a vegan black bean burger on there the other day. Um, and the newest one, which I haven't shared yet, but I'm excited to, is a high protein fruit smoothie bowl that I've been having instead of a protein shake <laughs> after the gym lately. Um, so. I like to keep food interesting, it's nice to mix it up. So in my next video I plan to actually do some comparisons and measurements. I'm going to weigh myself, I'm going to do all the measurements. Before I started I measured my biceps, my quads, my shoulders, everything. So I'm hoping to see some gains. Um, I'll definitely let you know as well as see what my weight difference is. I have a scale that measures body fat so we'll see what the difference is there as well. That video will be coming sooner than later since this one was late. 
Um, but thank you for watching and comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe so you don't miss the next one about my measurements. And goodbye.